first in here, so it's coming from the crop. There's the crop there, which is the first food storage organ. There, so going from the crop to the gizzard to the proven trunculus to the duodenum, which is what I call the U bend, the tyler bit of the back, okay, the U bend, because it's it's connected, the two bits are connected together by the pancreas, which is that white strip in the middle. And what we, what we often do is just open up both loops and have a look to see if there's any hemorrhage or... So nice, quite nice and clean they are there. I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute. And um, some slides. So just a glass slide, microscope slide. Just sort of see if we can find some hexameter. You know, it's, sort of, it's quite a normal bird, isn't it? But we do a few microscope slides, so I'm going to get into the microscopes as well in a minute. Um, get some gloves that fit. What I do is just get a cover slip, so it's a very fine slip, and I just take a, a scraping from the duodenum, so I just scrape a bit of the duodenum off, place slide on the glass slide, just press it down lightly. Um, so the way I'm passing down the jejunum, down to these two blind tubes, the cecum, so the cecum, which is sucking out all the water out of the droppings before it evacuates out as a normal dropping. So the CK, you can see they're blind, they just blind their moon sacs. When you open up the grouse, they're huge, it's the biggest part of the intestine, they're about that big, and that's where the worms survive in the grouse. Um, but they have a very short piece of normal intestine <coughs> absorption. The reason for that really is the, um, the grouse wants as little wants as much water within the bird, so it wants to reabsorb as much as possible, so they've got huge cecae. If you open up a chicken, they're much smaller again, you know, so the pheasant is somewhere in between the two. So, if I just open up the cecae there, have another look, perfectly healthy there again, looks fine. So that's the end of the digestive system, okay? So the crop, gizzard, proventriculus, the U-bend, the duodenum, the two blind ending sacs, and the tube in the middle, okay? So that's, that's that. Um, which just leaves the kidneys. So if you dig down in your bird, Yeah, you're right. 
Yes, well, there's a white deposit in the chest there. So, practically, gate plumb, because you've got gate plumb and all, it's easy to do, isn't it? Just so it's not the trick here. So, there's no gate plumb, all your birds are coughing and sneezing, like a plasma from spring. You know, there's something else going on because there's no gate plumbs. Um, you can look in the various parts of the intestine and see if they're very inflamed or not, as to whether it's coccidiosis or hexamity. You probably won't be able to tell the difference, but you can tell the intestines from. And you can look at these air sacs and see how clean the air sacs are, you know, as to whether there's a respiratory disease there. Kidneys, coronavirus, nephritis. So it's just recognising things being abnormal more than anything else. That would be pale or not? That would be okay. They're quite yeah. a nice colour. Yeah, the liver's pale. I think, you know, it's obviously in lay, it's under a bit of pressure, but there's nothing clinically wrong.